Last year I was floored when somebody sent me the link to an Indiegogo campaign for a device called the Soundbrenner Pulse. Having never crowdfunded anything before, I immediately pulled out my wallet and put down the $79. That's a bit of a discount. I happened to get the link on a sale day, but I definitely saw it and just went for it. Um, and 10 months later, well, I had the device in hand. The Pulse, put out by German company Soundbrenner, is a wearable metronome that uses haptic feedback to generate a strong vibration for its timekeeper. It is a fully functioning metronome in its own right, but is most useful when controlled via Bluetooth by Soundbrenner's The Metronome app. I was super excited when my Pulse finally arrived, and disappointed when I found its battery was DOA. I suppose then that the first thing I got to check out was its charger, which connects via USB cable, and the Pulse snaps firmly into place on top of it. The pulse glows orange while it's charging and just switches over to green when it's ready to go. I wanted to test the pulse on its own without connecting it to my phone first. While I would expect that anybody that has the disposable income to purchase a wearable metronome probably also has a smartphone with Bluetooth on it, I just wanted to see what it could do by itself. While the connection process is easy, it's perfectly reasonable to just want to throw the metronome on and use it without pulling out your phone. The Pulse comes with a wristband and arm or leg band, giving many different options for where to place the Pulse. Currently, I found it most effective for me to place the Pulse on the back side of my left arm. Left because I use the left less, and thus have less vibration interference. And rotated towards the back because that area is more sensitive. When one touches the Pulse for a few seconds, it lets out a heavy long vibration and a bright white glow to let the user know that it is powered on. The center continues to glow white while it waits for further commands. Tap it twice to start and stop the metronome. My pulse came from the factory set to play 4-4 time with a strong accent on 1, colored blue, a weak accent on 3, colored green, and normal pulses on counts 2 and 4, colored white. The strength of the pulses and their corresponding colors are adjustable through Soundbrenner's metronome app. Normally I set my metronome to have no accent, so it would just be straight white pulses in this case, but I understand why they send it this way to showcase what it can do right out of the box. Tapping the metronome three or more times steadily acts as a tap tempo function and will set the speed of the metronome. This can be changed on the fly while the metronome is already on, but causes the pulse to try and match your tempo while it's still processing, and it takes a click or two for it to settle into the new tempo. I've also found it's easier for the pulse to speed up while it's already running than to slow down. It's also possible to get the pulse to freak out a bit by tapping it way too fast. When spinning the ring, each click is equal to 1 BPM. This seems to make sense, but it takes a long time to get from 300 back to 30. And while most of us aren't running the gamut of these tempos, a much more believable situation and similarly long distance might be from 220 BPM back to 80. What I would suggest would be action similar to the wheel of the classic iPod, where if one spins it fast, the change in tempo would become greater, and when spun slower, the change reverts back to one to one. To connect the pulse with a smart device, open the app, navigate to settings, and hit add a device, and go power on your pulse, which will glow blue for a second or two, and you should be ready to go. Once a pulse is connected, one can go in and change all sorts of things. The LED flash can be turned off, a nice feature for the stage is to not have a flashing light drawing attention away from one's flashy playing. If you leave the light on, different colors can be assigned to the different accent levels. The three accent levels are normal, weak accent, and strong accent, with four different colors, white, green, blue, and pink. The haptics are also adjustable, both by duration and strength. Getting the correct balance on this can be tough and affects the way one perceives the beat. I have found that the best balance for me is to keep them all on the powerful side and use duration to indicate the level of accent. I keep the normal level at short duration, the weak accent at medium duration, and the strong accent in long duration. It should be noted if I set the pulse for all strong accents and crank the speed all the way up, it can't quite keep up. It feels like it slowly drops behind. If I set the beats to normal, the pulse keeps up just fine. And of course, there is always ludicrous mode. Prepare ship! Prepare ship for ludicrous speed! The metronome app has the ability to store two different types of settings, rhythms and set lists. As you may have guessed, rhythms is where you create, well, rhythms or songs or basically one specific setting. 
set lists allow you to take those rhythms and place them in an order just like a set list you might use. Currently one has to use their connected device to select the next song on the set list. I think a really neat idea would be to be able to use a gesture on the pulse to be able to switch between them. One of the great advantages of the pulse is that the metronome app can control multiple pulses at once. This means that if you're in a band and everybody has the pulse, one person can pull out their phone and send the same set list to everybody, to everybody's pulse. Uh, this seems like it would be a great advantage to bands that can't afford to do in-ear monitoring and set up their own click tracks through that. What this device is screaming for is the ability to program entire songs. Count-ins, exact number of measures, time signatures and tempo changes, all the specifics of a song. This is a device built for the stage. It should have this functionality. I've told you a lot about how it works. Now let's talk about the device itself. I like the look a lot. It looks very modern and cool. The construction's okay. The pulse is made of plastic, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I think I was expecting metal for some reason. The ring is slightly loose, not in a it's going to pop off kind of way, but in a by having the manufacturing tolerance one setting looser, we're going to have a lot less manufacturing issues kind of way. This causes the ring to bind up a little sometimes when turning it, particularly when you're turning it fast. And for the ring to vibrate a little when the metronome is on, listen here. These are really minute issues, and I suppose what I am really worried about is having to be more careful than a device like this feels like it should be. In my gut, I want to throw this in the bottom of my teaching bag and not worry about it. Let it roll around for a few months and be able to pull it out and not worry if it's going to work or not. I know I need to be more careful than that with the pulse, or at least I'm afraid to find out if I don't need to be. I'm also slightly worried about the bands. They're stretch rubber and have watch band latches. So far I've not had any issues, in fact they've been great. I just worry about the possibility of the band snapping or the latch breaking. My worries would be alleviated if Soundbrenner were to make extra bands available for purchase on their site. I like the Pulse. It does have some issues. There are times when a buzz will come in a little off, maybe because of a Bluetooth communication thing going on, and uh, it can be set to settings that it can't handle. For instance, the aforementioned uh, 300 beats per minute with super strong pulses for all of them, which is you know, certainly an, an unrealistic uh, situation. Overall, what it feels like is that this is definitely the first generation of this product. Very cool, hip, some stuff to be worked out in the next upcoming generations. The oddest thing about the Pulse is really has to do with more how I'm relating to it, and so this is a very personal part of this. Uh, I can only assume that other people feel the same way, though. Uh, I've only seen a couple reviews online, you know, immediate reaction kind of things. Uh, so I don't know how long people have been using it or checking out and, and what people are necessarily saying. Um, I'm having trouble playing with it. I've used clicks my entire life. I feel very confident with the click track. Uh, the pulse makes it feel like I'm playing with a metronome for the very first time. I'll start playing and I'll feel like things are going good and then all of a sudden it'll kind of disappear and then all of a sudden like I'll realize no it's there and I'm way off from it. So what I'm hoping is that the pulse helps me develop time on a deeper level. Um, that it will re-solidify this feeling of the of the pulse versus hearing of the pulse. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I don't know if that's going to be successful or unsuccessful. Uh, I've started by training myself by actually using the metronome app with the click on for a little while and then turning it off and trying to get myself more used to it. So I'm left with a really weird way to have to end the review, which is that I don't know exactly how useful it is yet. And of course my experience is going to be different than other people's. This is truly a new device. This is very, very different, and uh, time will tell how it, you know, how it improves time, how uh, it changes things. You know, it has the ability to take the metronome from being a dee doo 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 to just being a pulse you feel. Um, it could really shift the way we approach metronomes. And with that being said, I'm certainly going to make a video uh, six months from now and maybe continuing on just to see how it goes because this device deserves deeper testing. This device deserves, you know, 
looking at it over a long period of time. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. So, uh, have you used the Pulse? What do you think of it? Uh, let us know. Am I completely off base? Am I just weird for having an issue playing along with it? Uh, and again, I mean it in the... It, it doesn't feel, when I'm playing with it, like... Uh, it, it doesn't feel bad. It feels, it feels like it's on me. You know, it's on me. So, um, yeah. Let us know. Um, make sure to drop a comment below. Uh, you can send us a tweet. You can hit us up on our Facebook page. Uh, any of those places, you know they all exist. I uh, hope you really like this uh, technology and teaching video content. Uh, we're really happy to be bringing so many videos uh, to you now. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's where we need to wrap it up. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon.